Hi friends, welcome to my channel again. Thank you for your overwhelming response and likes to my videos. This really motivates me to make such videos again and again. Also, I saw some of you who had requested for how to add an enrollment variable and then to work with the same through panels. So in this video, we will try to cover those. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do it. It would really help me to stay posting more videos. And please do hit the like button which will help me to understand and improve the quality of my videos. Okay, let's go into the video. So in the part one video, we had seen about how to open a panel, how to change the background of the panel and some of the tools like analog gauge, then about the buttons, progress bar, start and stop measurement is what we have seen it in the part one video. In this part two video, we're going to see more about additional toolbars, something like the LCD control, LED control, then the checkbox, then how to make use of the track bar and then the media player. So all these toolboxes we are going to see in this particular video. And the beauty is that we are going to relate with some sort of use cases for your better understanding. Okay, uh, we will see about uh, LCD control and uh, how it can be used to represent uh, with a small use case. Let me go to the toolbox and click on to LCD control and then click on to the uh, panel area. You will find the LCD control uh, tab is now available. So LCD control uh, is basically a display parameter or in other words, uh, it can be used to display outputs either from signals or environmental variables or system variables or even from the diagnostics as well. So it's basically an output parameter so you can try to link any of your signals towards it and then you can see the output being displayed in this tab so that is the purpose of this lcd control okay what we are going to do what kind of use case that we are going to see today is uh, we will try to we already have a analog speedometer and now we can also embed this LCD control into it so that it be, it's a mix of analog and digital speedometer. Here we are going to link. Let me put it at the center. Okay, uh, for the moment uh, I'm going to keep it over here, and I'm going to display the speed in kilometer per hour uh, at the center of this uh, uh, speedometer, along with its analog just a kind of uh, uh, user experience okay uh, click on this uh, tab and then go to properties you will find all the configurable properties for this particular lcd control i will go through one by one first about the uh, background color you can change it uh, so it's in black it's okay uh, since my uh, analog speedometer background is also black so i wanted to uh, uh, keep it as black in order to uh, merge so that I will see only the uh, values alone and uh, background is a transparent uh, it's better to have it as uh, um, black because if I put it as transparent then I will see the, uh, the, 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 the needle as well and then segment off and segment on so segment color off this color is something like if there is no numbers then in that case what kind of a color it should appear if you see it closely uh, you will see there is a um, very mild um, red color which is appearing for the uh, segment of sections but when it is at the segment on uh, we have already um, mentioned it as a bright uh, red so now uh, for our appearance point of view let me make it as black so that if you see uh, now it is entirely black uh, I see only the segment on color alone off color since I made it as black and even my background uh, uh, speedometer color is also black so I see it um, this is fitting good and this color we can change it to any of your uh, required um, color and uh, segment strength uh, it's about uh, the size of your 
element so for instance if you keep it as 5 then you see if you see the 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 width and uh, height of this uh, numbers or segments it's getting increased and then again the control name um, as you wish you can give any name for it so i'm going to leave it as such uh, to your preference and location uh, and uh, size that means like width and height of this uh, uh, LCD control is something that you could manually do it, manually control uh, or at the same time if you want it to be in specific then you can also control it through these uh, parameters and then you have the uh, decimal places uh, since my digital speedometer uh, my maximum speed is going to be in a three digit so I'm not going to have any decimals at all first of all so I'm going to make it a zero so there is no decimal and uh, number of digits at the max it can go to 3 so I am going to give it as 3 now I get a kind of um, a number which I can uh, place it over here um, how it looks like so now if you wanted to change um, a bit of the size maybe you can give it in your okay and you can position yourself so that it looks good okay now what are the modifications now we have the main part where you can link the uh, signals to this particular lcd control uh, in our use case uh, we are going to link the same uh, vehicle speed parameter uh, which is linked to this analog uh, speedometer that's a, it's, it's what the same uh, what we are going to do here as well so I'm going to select the signal and then I'm going to uh, search for the signal uh, but I before that you see in the drop down it's not only the signal that you could work out in terms of displaying the uh, um, parameter you can also work with the environmental variable if you wanted to uh, display some of the environmental variable or system variable or uh, service signal or diagnostic parameter you can display all those things uh, by linking it over here in the symbols section now I selected signal and I'm going to browse through this and then going to search for vehicle speed. Now it is linked and again I'm going to make it as zero and the number of digits is three. Okay. Now let us um, run the scenario. We'll minimize the screen and so this is the panel we can play it from here means uh, the start measurement can be uh, started from the panel itself so by default the vehicle speed is 30 and if i want to increase my speed to 100 you see uh, both in analog as well as in the digital you will see both the uh, vehicle speed getting increased to the desired limit like here in this case it's going to go and uh, reach 100 yeah so in this way you can use the lcd control okay okay in the previous video we had seen about the lcd control and how uh, we used the lcd control to display the um, uh, speed vehicle speed in the form of a digital speedometer uh, now we will see about uh, the purpose of led control okay we have an led control let us check uh, what this led control can be used uh, this is a different format of uh, representation again we will try to relate with a different use case here okay and also um, We'll see about uh, uh, how this LED control uh, can be um, done along with the uh, piece of uh, capital code. So double click onto this LED control. So you will see a button here. So you can maximize it uh, based on your need. And then click onto that LED control and go to the properties you will see the uh, customizing options uh, what is the led color it should be when it is off and what is the led color when it is on uh, of course we are going to uh, try to uh, make a new case something like uh, 
uh, with the same speedometer once if it is uh, reaches uh, more than 100 kmph speed uh, we will try to put an alert in the form of an led control this is what the use case that we are going to target now for that use case of course uh, we need to uh, make sure that uh, what is the alert on color and uh, what is the alert off color so we are going to retain the same like for the alert we are going to keep it as red on color and off color let it be gray or uh, whatever the color that you uh, want you can give it and then the control name you can specify uh, based on your need I'm going to leave it as such uh, display only yes true okay and then the uh, tab index is 10 it's okay uh, layout we already had uh, customized it uh, manually uh, we will see about uh, display frame display frame uh, you can uh, make it as uh, true or false based on your uh, need you see when I make it as false the uh, the frame edges are uh, disabling okay uh, and uh, <clears throat> and then uh, the ellip ellipsion so this is something like Okay, and proportional is of course it should be proportional and if I make it as false then uh, it go in a different size uh, based on our manual um, drag and drop then the LED style um, we have selected it as ellipse uh, but if you wanted to have a different uh, kind of an alert shape uh, you can select based on your need so you have the options like ellipse or it can be rectangular shape or it can be a triangle up down left and right kind of an alert also you can keep for instance you can also use right or left for some sort of display like a right or left indicator it's also possible in our case i'm just going to uh, show a, an over speed alert so for that case uh, i would uh, prefer to go with the ellipse elliptical shape and then what is the off value off value I'm going to keep it as 0 ok my on value it's going to be 1 um, now which one uh, I have to link over here the the use case is something like we are going to give an alert when a speed is uh, greater than 100 it's going to be in two values when it is less than 100 I'm going to keep it as uh, uh, non alert means like uh, value of 0 when it is greater than 100 kmph then I am going to keep another value so it is like two values we are going to split from this entire range for that of course we cannot link the vehicle speed directly here uh, so for that purpose I am going to create an environmental variable so go to your database which you have linked into your simulation setup add the environmental variable so right click onto this environmental variable and uh, click new and I'm going to give create a environmental variable with name as overspeed alert I'm just going to give the name I'm not going to mention anything as minimum or maximum range I'm going to give it as ok and I'm going to save it and close it now in my database I have the environmental variable with the name of overspeed alert now let us select that environmental variable search for overspeed alert now you see um, from my environmental uh, database I'm able to see the uh, variable which uh, we have defined or created uh, recently I'm going to select the overspeed alert and now I have mapped it now what is the link between the vehicle speed and the environmental variable so we haven't done anything any logic we haven't written anything on it uh, but we know that when the vehicle speed is more than 100 I need to set the alert I al also have uh, created the environmental variable now I have to go and write a piece of capital code in order to uh, compare the vehicle speed and then I have to understand whether my vehicle speed is below 100 or above 100 so based on this comparison I'm going to uh, write the value of overspeed alert as 1 or 0 so this is what the logic that we are going to write it I go to the um, the capital 
dot, dot can file uh, which I have linked into my simulation setup. Uh, I'm going to use the on signal command and then which signal I'm going to compare the vehicle speed. So based on my vehicle speed signal change, I'm going to write a logic here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a small comparison. So if and then uh, I'm going to get the value of the vehicle speed. So for it or I'm, I'm going to compare it for that, uh, you can use a, a dollar symbol for any of the signal comparison. So I use dollar and then uh, my vehicle speed is appearing here. I'm going to write a condition like if my vehicle speed is greater than 100 or greater than equal to 100. I'm going to write the environmental variable. So here for the environmental variable, please write it as start with the uh, at symbol so that um, you could select the over speed alert environmental variable and assign the value as one. And then if then else I give another value for the over speed alert as zero. It's a very simple logic. Uh, uh, just for your understanding, I have written it in a very simpler manner. You can try to relate it for any other uh, complex uh, uh, logics also you can use it. So simply what we have done is uh, we have used the on signal command in the in the dot can file and then we are trying to compare the vehicle speed uh, value. So whenever my vehicle speed is greater than or equal to 100, I'm going to write the environmental variable uh, over speed alert as one. Uh, in all other cases, I'm going to write it as zero. Now we have written the logic here. And if you see, we have already linked it. And whenever the value is uh, uh, one of the over speed alert, the, uh, the LED color on red will be glowing. And whenever my over speed alert is zero, I'm going to display it with gray color. Uh, also, we can make use of the static text uh, to name it for better understanding. So I'm just going to select the static text here, click on to it, go to the properties and change your text. I'm going to give it as over speed alert. You can change the font size and shape as per your need. And you can change the background color as well. I'm going to keep it as black and my text color as red. Okay. We are good to go. I saved it. I go to the panel. My panel, I am just going to start the measurement. The measurement has started. My initial vehicle speed is zero. I'm going to give as 99. If you see my vehicle speed is getting increased, it's going to reach around 99. Until all this duration, my over speed alert is always gray. It is not going to indicate any alert to the user. Good. Now I'm going to change it to 100. You see now the alert has raised because the code, what it does is it compared the vehicle speed value and uh, once it has uh, reached 100, it started to pull in the alert. For more than 100 range, whatever the value that you're going to mention, this alert is going to maintain as such. So in this way, you can use the LED control in order to um, display your alerts or indications 
in your panel. So that's the purpose of uh, having the LED control. Okay, now we will see about the checkbox tool. Go to the toolbox and then in the top you will see a checkbox tool. Uh, the purpose of this uh, checkbox is uh, something similar to that of the button but uh, the difference is that it will stay into the, into its own state uh, unless or otherwise you change it for instance if you enable or click on to the stick bar or the checkbox unless or otherwise you uncheck it it will still retain with the same value or in the same state but on the button it will not be so in the button, when you push it, it will be in one state. When you release it or when you remove your mouse pointer in, from the button, it will come to the original state or otherwise released state. But uh, checkbox is something like it will retain its state. Uh, here also we will try to relate this with a use case. So in this video, we were seeing about the over speed alert based on the vehicle speed signals so vehicle speed was varying and uh, once if it reaches uh, more than 100 kmph then uh, we made a small logic in order to uh, output an over speed alert in the form of an led control now what we will do is we will try to configure this feature this feature itself this logic itself we will try to enable or disable based on this checkbox selection uh, we'll go into in detail about it. So, firstly, click on this uh, checkbox, go to the properties, and uh, you can change the big background color based on your need. So, I give it as a black and lime color for con good contrast and uh, viewability. Okay. Now we can change the description. It was an over speed alert. So I'm going to give it as over speed feature itself. Which will act as a configurable feature. I will change the type of the font and its size for better viewability and uh, <coughs> the general section you can keep the name as you wish whether you want to keep it as checkbox itself or you want to give it as a specific name uh, as I said earlier these name whatever you are going to mention in this control name same you can also access it through capital code also so you can change the properties through capital code also in the runtime so that's still possible so for that purpose um, you can choose the name as you wish the desired name can be given to this control name and then you can access it through capital so now just for our initial understanding about the checkbox we are not going to go in detail about it but we will see about uh, the general options for it okay so display only we keep it as false and runtime as true and layout of course we have already manually we have uh, changed it um, if you wanted to change the size and its location uh, here it's still possible and then here you have the settings where you have the option of um, checked and unchecked so what is the value it has to hold when it is when this uh, checkbox is uh, clicked and uh, what is the value it has to hold when this uh, checkbox is unchecked so it is mentioned as one and zero we keep it as such and now in order to uh, enable or disable this feature itself i would like to create an environmental variable so i cannot uh, go with the signal because the signal conversion is already uh, signal comparison is already done so now we will uh, create an environmental variable and then we will link it to this uh, feature selection and based on this environmental variable value change we will enable or disable this over speed alert okay so go to your database which is attached to your simulation setup 
and then create a specific uh, environmental variable in this case I will name it as over over speed underscore feature click ok save minimize it now in this uh, symbol filter select environmental variable and then go to the symbol and select the over speed feature it's appearing now we have created it so now the linking is done now what we have to do so now the environmental variable is linked to this uh, checkbox and also we have the features available over here the logic is there but we need to link it uh, what we have to do is we have to go to the uh, capital code where we had written the logic to compare the vehicle speed the same place where we can do a, one more comparison of this environmental variable so I'm going to put it as at at the rate and then I'm going to select the over speed feature when my feature if it is selected which is equal to one then I will go into all this code else I will keep the over speed alert as zero which means my over speed alert will be always gray if this over speed feature is not selected so I made this change now we will see how it behaves okay panel I am saving it if you see in the original panel the over speed feature is now visible I am running the measurement now the vehicle speed is zero and the over speed feature is not selected so in this case if I if I set the speed as 105 you will not see the over speed alert when the vehicle speed reaches more than 100 it will not throw over speed alert because this feature is now not selected or unchecked now my current vehicle speed is going past 100 but you don't see any alert now I'm going to enable this feature now I enabled it ideally now I should see the alert but I don't see the alert right now because we have used the code in such a way that it will be on signal vehicle speed change so whenever there is a change in this vehicle speed only then the part of the code will be executed so for instance now if I set it to 101 now the, the moment at which I set the speed the alert will be will become red this is because the feature is selected and again if I uncheck it and if I try to change one step the feature is disabled in this way you can make use of this checkbox it is not only that you have to always uh, use it as a feature selection also you can use it for multiple other options like you can uh, add checkbox for the uh, gear lever positions like uh, when you when you you can give a name like uh, drive for which you can uh, if you select it then um, you can add a code inside it to uh, reach to that value for the drive mode for park mode or not or for the neutral mode you can select it accordingly uh, in that way you can also use this uh, checkbox so the checkbox is pur uh, checkbox purpose we have seen it in the video hope you are uh, clear about the option how to use it in your uh, panels okay now we will see about um, the track bar tool option so track bar um, go to the toolbox and select the track bar or double click on it and you will see a track bar like this let me show you go to the track bar click on it and click over here you will see this track bar appearing in your uh, panel purpose of this track bar is a kind of an input it can be used either as an input or as well as an uh, output uh, for your uh, uh, needs 
all you have to do is just double click on track bar and you get it over here and uh, as we have seen it in the other options so we are going to again try to uh, relate with the use case so here the use case that we are going to see is controlling this new speed so the new speed uh, whatever we are using until now uh, i'm just typing the value over here but if you wanted to change the speed from lower to a higher value or higher to a lower value without entering the speed uh, in that uh, in that way you can make use of this track bar to um, select this knob and then you can uh, change it from lower to the higher position or higher to the lower position so that is the use case that we are going to see uh, let us see in detail so if you click on to this track bar go to the properties so firstly you can select the background color so the background color that we are going to have is black because uh, my background is blue and uh, black would be better is what i felt and then border style uh, we can uh, select between um, 2d or 3d we select it as 3d so that uh, it will appear good uh, display min and max uh, yes you would like to display the minimum and maximum values uh, if you do not prefer to uh, display it uh, as you wish you can make it as false here uh, i'm going to display just for our um, understanding orientation you can have it either as a horizontal orientation or it can also be a vertical so now here i'm going to use it as a vertical orientation so if you select the vertical orientation your track bar would look something like this and uh, you can keep it somewhere around here for better representation of your uh, gui okay move these buttons a bit higher okay now we have uh, selected the orientation and the tick frequency uh, we keep it as one and then uh, tick style uh, it's going to be bottom right so since it is uh, the orientation is selected as vertical uh, it's going to be bottom bottom or top uh, if you selected the horizontal then it could be left or right that's why you will see the option as bottom right and uh, the other options in the general section is uh, control name uh, again you can uh, specify as per your need display only uh, you can select between uh, true or false so i keep it for the moment as false and is visible at runtime yes it should be visible at runtime and uh, tab index i keep it as 12 as such and uh, layout uh, we can modify it manually also uh, as well you can uh, also modify it through these uh, layout sections so we have already seen it it's a basic and then in the settings uh, we we are going to see like um, commit all the values or only the last values uh, it's best that we uh, we give it as all values to see a to see a continuous increase when we try to move it from one position to another position. But if you wanted to have it as a commit the last value, it means that once if you have uh, moved it and then uh, if you uh, leave your mouse pointer, then it takes that value and uh, based on which that value will be applied. So we are going to keep it as all values and large change it's going to be 5 it means when I drastically change from one position to another position then in that case the change value should go by 5 uh, steps step value should be 5 and then um, show value tool tips uh, so here if you give it as true then uh, you will see the values here and then uh, for each and then small changes it's going to be uh, changing with uh, as one and uh, here it's a symbol section to indicate what is your minimum and maximum value uh, firstly we will try to link the uh, environmental variable so again already i have used an environmental variable for the new speed uh, for the new speed settings so since it is an environmental variable i'm going to select the section as environmental variable and I'm going to map the new speed. 
to this um, track bar and uh, my minimum value is 0 and maximum value I wanted to give it as 250 because I, I wanted to vary the speed until the maximum. So I keep it as 250 here. Okay. So now all is set. And maybe here. Okay, I keep it as close. Okay. Now we are all set to um, do the check by changing the track bar how my new speed is getting applied uh, into my background code and how my speed is getting increased and decreased. So we'll see. I'm going to save the GUI. Okay. Now my panel is ready. I'm going to start the measurement. At the start, the value is zero. Okay. Now I'm going to increase my speed, not by specifying the new speed in the um, in the list or combo box. I'm going to use the track bar in order to increase my new speed. So as I set the new speed, my vehicle speed will also follow the same. So let me set it step by step. You see, my first step is uh, 6. The new speed is uh, reached to 6. Now, when I keep increasing, you see, it is uh, taking, as I increase it, it takes all the values. It is not taking the last values. It is taking all the values as I increase it. You see, my set speed is 108 is trying to go to the 108 speed and at the same time you also see the over speed alert i want to increase a little bit further to 142 and if you wanted to reduce it again you can reduce it by lowering your uh, speed setting so in this way you can uh, use the track bar to uh, uh, make it as a very uh, graphical uh, interface uh, instead of you typing in your uh, new speed every now and then instead of that you can always use these controls to uh, uh, to change the values through through the panel itself instead of typing it so that is the purpose of this uh, track bar uh, you can make use of it in uh, multiple other use cases like you can map this uh, track bar with your uh, brake pedal press or you can map this uh, track bar with your gas pedal press uh, for all these use cases, you can use this kind of a track bar uh, by which you can uh, change it and apply it. So that is the purpose of track bar. Okay, now we will see about the uh, media player option or control. Go to the toolbox and you will find the media player option. Click on it and you will find this uh, tab open here. Uh, the purpose of this media player is uh, you can stream any clip based on the signal value change um, so that is the purpose of this uh, media player what i am going to do is i am going to again relate some sort of use case here uh, for instance uh, in the vehicle you will see a welcome message when you start the vehicle and in the infotainment or in your uh, um, ivi screen you will uh, you will be able to see the welcome image or or clip been played the same way i mean uh, it is played based on certain state is achieved and so uh, that the, that particular clip will be played in the uh, uh, infotainment window the same way uh, we will try to replicate by relating this uh, media player with a signal or a variable and uh, once if that state is reached then we will play this clip uh, i'm going to play play a sample clip here uh, just for your understanding about how you can make use of this uh, media player in your uh, panel. Okay, uh, click on this uh, media player tab and then go to properties. You will have the options like border style. You can, if you wanted to have it as a 3D, then give it as 3D. And then you have to choose your media file. So browse it and then uh, give your uh, media file. For instance, it can be any of your uh, file based on your uh, use case. Uh, I'm just selecting a sample uh, video clip here just for uh, demo purpose. The name of the um, of the tab is mentioned as media player, but you can give it as you wish. And then um, here is the settings, the actual settings like replay all. Uh, I'm not going to replay anything, but uh, the switch values 
if it is uh, with value as 2 means it will pause with uh, value 1 means it will play with value 0 means it will stop uh, so here you can link any signal or environment variable or system variable or even a diagnostic parameter it's possible that you could link any of this um, symbol and uh, you can you can trigger the media through this symbols either it can be sing signal or uh, variable so in this case i am going to choose an environment variable so what i am going to do is i am going to link this over speed alert variable as a triggering point for this media player okay we know how to trigger this over speed alert like if it is if this, if the vehicle speed is going past 100 then we will get a over speed alert the value will be 1 and if it is go, going the vehicle speed is below 100 then the value will be <coughs> 0 so i am going to <coughs> sorry i am going to relate the environment variable here i am going to choose the same over speed alert so i linked it we know that uh, we can uh, go to a maximum values of uh, the possible values of 0 or 1 let us uh, check we have also linked the media clip which has to be played when this uh, triggering points are reached let me save this panel and we will see i'm running the measurement <clears throat> so this is the media player section now the measurement has been started i am going to increase the speed i am going to select this over speed feature because uh, only if it is selected i am going to uh, see the over speed alert i am going to give it as 100 <clears throat> now the speed is getting increased and uh, once it reaches 100 we will get a over speed alert and uh, this over speed alert the moment at which if this alert is raised then the value of this uh, variable will be 1 so that will also trigger the media player here okay now if you see the media player or the clip that we have mapped into this media player it's been triggered and if i need to stop this clip again we need to reach to a value of zero so we can either uncheck this feature or i can keep it as 99 so that the clip is stopped so this is one way of representation like uh, uh, if you are testing any of your infotainment related testing in the panels then uh, you will be having a predefined uh, welcome video clip which you can attach it and then based on the state it has reached you can map that uh, clip so that it will play in this panel in that way you can uh, you, you will be able to resemble or uh, replicate how the IVI screen would look like the same way this uh, appearance will also be so in that way you can uh, try to relate based on your uh, respective use cases so this is the uh, this is the way that we have to use the media player option so with that uh, we come to the conclusion of the part 2 video so we have covered almost all the contents uh, so hope you would have got the clear insight about the LCD LED controls uh, checkboxes track bar and media player uh, these options how to make use of it uh, hope you like this video please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe so that i can make uh, more videos and you will be notified for the future series of videos as well thank you